So productivity is subtractive. It's not additive. And what I mean by that is it's 80% about the things that you don't do and only 20% about the things that you do do. So in this first half of the video, I'm gonna to talk to you about the things that I don't do. And then the second half, I'm gonna jump over to my screen and tell you about the things that I do do. And these are the things that help me stay extremely productive as an electrical engineer. And the things I'm gonna share with you actually also apply to how I run and operate my YouTube channel in which I upload a massive volume of videos, even though I only do it part-time and it takes me very little time because essentially that's what productivity is. It's you want to increase the amount of output and you want to decrease the amount of input, especially if that input is time. So the first thing that I do not use is I do not use TikTok and I do not use Instagram. I'm willing to guarantee if you're checking TikTok or Instagram anytime between the time you wake up until around noon, you're probably already like 70% less productive than you could be. And this is just basic neurochemistry because these apps are designed in a way to keep you hooked and keep you chasing instant gratification. And obviously the things that you need to do to be productive, such as doing homework assignments, completing projects, reports, figuring out what to do with your life. These things are a lot less gratifying in the moment. They end up putting them off and not doing them unless you have an external or extrinsic motivation or such as a deadline, for example. And this is why students can still succeed in college and university, especially in engineering school, despite having horrendous studying habits because you have external deadlines such as assignment deadlines, exam deadlines, and things set externally that force you to just get yourself together at the very last minute. However, if you really want to just like buy back a lot of productivity and just be able to make a lot more progress, I would just delete these apps. I mean, I have an Instagram and I do have a TikTok. I have both of them. Um, my TikTok, I almost never check it. My Instagram, I check it once a week from my laptop. Now I do use Twitter and I use YouTube, although I have the ads blocked on YouTube and I don't have the app on my phone. And to me, Twitter is really nice because it's about ideas and it's about thoughts and writing versus Instagram, TikTok are more visual, like they're about videos and pictures which I think get to grasp your attention and emotions in a much stronger way. And they tend to be a lot less inspirational and just kind of a time waste. But I mean, anyway, you probably already know this, but again, to verify the hypothesis, first thing I would do to be more productive is just to delete social media, or I would at least turn off the notifications. I do not have any notifications turned on except phone calls. So if my parents call me or if friends call me or if somebody important calls me, my phone will ring and I'll go grab it to pick it up. Other than that, nothing else gives me a notification. Now, obviously things like alarms, reminders, yes, but like there are no apps out there that are sending notifications to my phone simply because I turned those notifications off. And that's again, because in order for me to stay productive and focused all day long, my attention is the most important resource. And these apps pinging notifications are probably not what I should be uh, spending my attention towards. And one thing I've been tracking um, and focusing on hardcore for the past few years is tracking my screen time. So your phone actually tells you how much time you're spending on your phone. And I try to reduce that to two hours maximum where it's one hour of just like spending time on your phone texting twitter whatever and then one hour i allow myself to like call people now obviously if i have a friend i haven't spoke to in a while i'll make it go a lot longer like these are not necessarily rules that are rigid these are more guidelines but i really think that the more time you spend on your phone the dumber and less successful you will get unless like your phone is something you use to like run a business or something like that so if you're going to track something over the next few weeks or months or whatever track your screen time religiously and see why you're spending that much time on these apps and if something's sinking too much of your time get rid of it now i know you might be thinking is like dude like how can i get rid of instagram or tiktok or how can i like i have to talk to my friends and like i don't want to be like a lone wolf i don't want to be i don't want to isolate myself and you don't really need to isolate yourself because the magic is that what's going to happen is once you remove these apps or spend less time on them you're gonna be forced to like spend time with people in person. And these connections are gonna be a lot more gratifying. And I actually experienced this a few months ago because when I moved to Boston around a few months ago, in the first month that I moved, I was still talking to a lot of my friends back at home. I was calling them every day. I was texting them every day. And I had like zero motivation to go out and meet people here. And it was only when I started cutting a lot of these ties, and I don't mean cutting it in a bad way, but I just started kind of distancing myself in a bit from my phone and trying to tell myself, okay, no, I have to figure something out. I started going to the gym more and I started meeting a lot of people nearby and I met amazing people which are now my friends here in Boston. And again, the more time you spend on your phone, the more depressed and unhappy you're gonna be. And ideally you should try to find people to actually meet in person at least once in a few days. All right, now before I reveal my biggest productivity secret to you, let me jump over to my computer and show you what my computer looks like. All right, so when I logged into my uh, laptop, this is literally what it looks like and it's nothing. And uh, you'll notice there's only four folders and there's documents and stuff. And there's also next level. This is a, something, I'm, a side project I'm working on. Uh, there's my research, like my MATLAB scripts, my books, things that I use that are related to my PhD and my work. And then there is YouTube. It's probably like where I have some ideas, thumbnails, 
um, things like that. And um, to me, this is extremely important. I also have like a sticky note document where I write down like my kind of to-do list and what I plan on doing like in the day uh, and what needs to happen. And this is it. And to me, this is extremely important because if you have like a bunch of cluttered stuff going on, um, that's really not going to serve you. You're going to be confused and you're going to be a mess. And this is exactly why my room looks like this as well. Like my desk is usually very organized, with like very little clutter going on. My entire room, there's very little clutter going on. Sometimes in my board, there may be like a bit of clutter, but I'll usually go over it um, during that same day and get rid of it ASAP. Now, let me show you what my Google Chrome looks like, which is where I do most of my magic. So I spent a lot of time on the browser and first thing it opens up to my calendar automatically, which is awesome because that reminds me of what I need to be doing. And then um, like I have everything kind of blocked out with no ads. Um, so I have my calendar, I have a document where I track what I do. I have a doc, this is where I track my sleep. This is where I hang out with some friends. This is my physical therapy agenda. And there's again, side project that I'm working on. And even if I go on YouTube, like let's say to listen to music while doing work, uh, you'll notice that I have no feed, right? Like I have nothing that's, uh, I have no suggestions coming into my face on my computer. If I was using this um, like on my phone or something or whatever, and I'm just chilling and winding down, I would obviously have suggestions because I want to consume something. But again, my laptop is usually my workplace and I want to be l less distracted, very little distracted. And even if I were to go and type um, something and watch something, you'll notice that my recommendations are also blocked. So this is, for example, like a video that I posted, you'll see that I have like nothing over here and then I have nothing over here. And this is for the sole purpose that when I go on YouTube, I'm usually either searching something that I'm trying to learn or I'm looking up music. Like for example, like this is like a common playlist that I listen to and I want to make it such that when I uh, log in and I listen to this, I'm actually only trying to listen to the song and I'm not just being distracted by all the things on the right and on the left. And I noticed that this kind of subtraction of just getting rid of things and, and making sure that you're actually focused and you're staying on task uh, is really the most important thing. And this is really where I, uh, I want to reveal my uh, uh, hyper productivity secret is that productivity is all about clarity and it's all about intention and it's all about signal to noise ratio where the signal is high and the noise levels are low. Like most, most of the time people procrastinate because one, they don't know what they want to do or they think they have an idea of what they want to do, but they haven't figured out the steps to get there. Or by the time they have figured out the steps and they go to do it and they're like, Oh, let me go on YouTube to like play a song so I can listen to something while I do my project. And then you see like a Mr. Beast video and then you click on it and then like, three hours pass by and you're like, what just happened? And then you're like, oh man, I'm hungry now. Let me go eat. And then you're like, well, I don't know what I'm gonna eat. And then like you go on your phone, you look up and then you get a notification from TikTok and you're like watching reels for a little bit. Now you're hungry and your dopamine levels are all messed up. And like this is probably 90, what happens to 90% of people is uh, you, you, you think about what you want to do, but then you have all these little things that mess you up and get in the way. And that's, that's really what productivity comes down to. I don't use any fancy apps. I use the Google Calendar. Um, I use a notebook, like pen and paper, and nothing fancy at all. I like to keep it simple, keep it old school. But my secret is that I am very clear on what I want to do. And then I quickly identify what obstacles are there. And I just remove them and I get them out of the way and I eliminate things, I subtract things. And I'm actually ruthless about eliminating things and subtracting things because this is actually something my parents uh, are always mad with me about because when I used to live at home, I would see something that we have not used in like weeks or months and I would throw it out. I would say, or I would donate it. I would just get rid of it. And, I would, and then they would come and say, oh no, like why'd you throw this thing? It was very important. And I would say, well, we have not used it in quite some time. So to me in my room or in my life or everything uh, that I surround myself with is very intentional. And I only keep things around that I actually use and actually make use of. And that is literally why I have only four folders. I have like four tabs on Chrome and that's it. I, 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 the things that I do not use, I get rid of very quickly. And I think that has really served me well in terms of being productive because it helps me stay focused, helps me stay on target. And yeah, I, I really think this is the one thing that if you can focus on um, with productivity, just eliminate, figure out all the crap that's distracting you, eliminate that. And then you'll just free up so much mental bandwidth and attention and dopamine reserves 
to actually do the things that you want to do. And it's really not that hard. You don't need a million productivity apps. You don't need any of that. What you need is less apps and probably need to spend less time on your phone. Now, lack of focus and lack of clarity, and it's probably one of the biggest reasons why engineering students fail, but I would argue there's actually a bigger underlying reason behind why engineering students fail. And I made a video right here that describes that, so you should go ahead and watch it.